All right, hopefully no one is having any trouble with question number one. This is just as simple as combining like terms. Now I know it's eighth and ninth grade, so maybe that's new to you. The d squared doesn't bother us really. We just need to match the eight and the three and add them together to get 11. So choice B is the answer. But if this is your first math question of your first practice SAT of any kind, I want you to understand where these other answer choices are coming from, right? What is 24? That's eight times three. So for some reason you just have that impulse and you think that that's what you need to do, you're gonna see that answer and you're gonna pick it. Look at number uh, choice C, right? That's eight minus three is five. So there's not a coincidence there either. I think the most tempting answer is gonna be D where we have that 11, but notice it's a minus. And this is something you're gonna see as you take more and more practice SATs and look at more and more practice questions is they are going to kind of just like change the answer from the right thing to the wrong thing in the slightest way possible, just hoping you don't notice. So you gotta make sure you're always paying attention. Don't just pick the first answer that looks good. Look at everything, make sure you're not falling for a trap so that you don't waste points on easy stuff like this. It's really important that we secure all of these points on these easy math questions at the beginning of the section where we'd expect the easy questions and easy answers.